Right now, as the cost of child care continues to rise, how a newly passed bill could help some parents afford it. Also, millions are casting ballots nationwide in the biggest day of primary season, why some Democratic voters are choosing to vote uncommitted at the polls. And later, what does it take to make the world's best cheese? We'll go to the World Championship Cheese Contest to find out. Welcome to News 3 Now at 6. Well, good evening and thanks for having us in. We start with breaking news out of Sun Prairie, where police say a train clipped a vehicle this afternoon. The incident caused the closure of part of South Bird Street. News 3 Now's Will Keneally is live at the scene with the latest. So, Will, what have you learned? Hey Brady, yeah, so a pretty striking scene here earlier out near Sun Prairie. At this intersection right here, you can actually see the train still stalled here and back on behind us. And we actually have some video from the scene earlier in the day that we can show you. But essentially what happened is there's no uh, kind of gate that comes down at this intersection. So the car is speeding in to this intersection with the train. Uh, does not stop soon enough uh, and does get clipped by that train and dragged just a little bit. Now we spoke to an eyewitness uh, here right next to the scene at Jackson's Yard care. Uh, they say that uh, there's a woman and two children in the car. Um, one of the children in the passenger seats uh, right next to the driver there. Uh, they both are they all got out of the car um, and appeared to walk away. So we don't know. We don't think that there are many injuries from this incident. Uh, the car was towed away uh, as this incident happened around 4 p.m. Uh, so we're still waiting to see uh, when this train might depart. Uh, but for now, reporting here in Sun Prairie, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. Thank you, Will. The child care tax credit is expanding. This after Governor Evers signed a bill into law this week. Maddie Heimsch has the story. When signing the bill into law, Evers said he wanted to give parents, quote, breathing room in their household budgets, trying to remove some of the burden from those increasing child care costs. When I came to the center 37 years ago, it was so different. Teresa Marshall is the executive director at the Janesville Community Daycare Center. She told me the rising cost of child care is outpaced income, making it nearly impossible for many families to afford quality care. We see a lot of times families that are really struggling. Some families will have grandma and grandpa do some days and then they come here some days. So they see the value of the education, preschool education, but they can't afford to do the five days a week. In Wisconsin, the median family income averages $67,000. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services defines affordable child care as costing less than 7% of a family's income. But according to a United Way study, on average, more than 18% of a Wisconsin family's income was spent on child care in 2023. Marshall says the inflation of child care costs has a lot to do with the occupation itself transforming. It was almost like a part-time job to be a preschool teacher and things have so changed. Our staff need to make a living wage to support themselves and their families. The Janesville Community Daycare Center offers scholarships to families as a nonprofit. Marshall says they currently have 500 students on their waiting list. We have more details on what child care taxes will look like this spring right now on channel 3 thousand.com reporting in Janesville. I'm Maddie Heimsch news three now. The UW Police Department is investigating after two UW students were reportedly assaulted. The incident happened Sunday night at about 830 when two UW Madison students walked by a group of men near the intersection of Linden Drive and Observatory Drive. Three men from the group then followed the victims for a short distance. When the victims stopped to interact with the suspects, two of the suspects punched the victims in the face and head. The victims were able to walk away from the scene and were unaware when the group went after. Anyone with information is asked to call UW-Madison police. Another inmate has been found dead at the Wapan prison. This is the fourth in the last eight months. 62-year-old Donald Meyer died at the prison on February 22nd. No word yet on the cause of death. Meyer was sentenced to 15 years in prison in 2012 on multiple counts of stalking. He was then charged in 2022 with first-degree murder in Wood County in connection with the 1985 stabbing death of Benny Scruggs. That case was pending at the time of Meyer's death. The Dodge County Sheriff's Office and the county medical examiner are investigating. The Adams County Sheriff's Office is investigating after a police officer in Rome was rear-ended while her squad car was parked. It happened last night just before 9. Officer Jasmine Aldrich was parked along Highway 13 near Akron Avenue behind another vehicle. Well, that's when a pickup truck driven by a 78-year-old man hit the back of the squad car. 
Law enforcement says the squad car's emergency lights were turned on. Officer Aldrich was taken to a nearby hospital for possible injuries and was later released. Meta platforms, including, including Facebook and Instagram, are back online after thousands of people couldn't access them. Meta attributed the outage to a technical issue. According to Outage Tracker, down detector at least 500,000 Facebook users reported issues logging in or accessing the site. Some users found they had been logged out of their Facebook accounts. Others got notifications on Instagram that something went wrong and their feeds could not load. Threads and Facebook Messenger also went down. Well, a bright and sunny day for most, uh, most of the day after yesterday's storms. Here's Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington with a first born forecast. Alex? Hey, Brady, what a difference 24 hours makes. <clears throat> Quiet, calm out here on the patio. I actually just heard a robin out there. Robins are probably coming up here because the temperatures are so mild. 42 degrees still at 6 o'clock at night. The winds are coming down just a little bit, and I can attest to that out here in the patio, although we're guarded a little bit out here in the patio, but not too breezy out there. Feel Feels like 37 and that's what it should feel like for this time of year and as we look at the rest of Dane County we've got 42 like I said in Madison 43 in Middleton 45 in Belleville again normal high temperatures this time of year are right around 40 still hanging on to 50 in Boscobel near 50 in Janesville so a very mild regime still across all of southern Wisconsin again above normal for this time of year but those temperatures look at that 50s Wednesday and Thursday then we go into the 40s. What's going on with that? Because then we go into the 60s by the time we get on out into next week. 60 degree weather. That's April-like weather. But you're probably wondering more about those 40s. Coming up in Maine weather, we're going to be tracking wet weather. And if there's a chance of wet snow, who stands that chance and how much water we're going to get? And if that water's going to help out the drought? I'll see you in a couple minutes. Thanks, Alex. Polls are open today across the country in 15 states and one territory, all voting in today's Super Tuesday presidential primary. Among the states voting today is one of our Midwestern neighbors, Minnesota. The state could see a number of uncommitted votes on the Democratic side. This comes after another Midwestern state, Michigan, had 13% of Democratic voters choose an uncommitted option. Democrats have been using this as a protest vote over the Biden administration's stance on Israel. This time I am voting uncommitted. Um, I believe that uh, the war in Gaza uh, and the genocide that Israel is committing is unacceptable and Joe Biden has not done enough to um, earn my vote and not done enough to stop, to stop the war, stop the massacre. Wisconsin will vote in its presidential primary April 2nd. CBS will have a special one hour report on Super Tuesday this evening at 9 p.m. Vice President Kamala Harris will be visiting Madison tomorrow. It's the second visit to the state for her this year. Harris will make a stop in Madison to speak about apprenticeship programs and union jobs. She'll be joined by Acting Secretary of Labor Julie Hsu. Still ahead on News 3 Now at 6, we'll take a look at some of the finalists for the Spirit of Service Award. Plus, if you're a U.S. military veteran or the family of a veteran, you'll want to hear this. The changes made to VA health care benefits that are now kicking in. Watching News 3 Now at 6. Brought to you by Ruger Law Offices. No two accidents are the same, so don't let the insurance company treat you just like another number. Call Gruber Law Offices today. We'll give you the attention you need. We've helped tens of thousands of people get the money they deserve. One call, that's all. Save big money with these hot deals at Menards. All prices after 11% rebate. Assorted seed packets are just 9 cents each. Grab these Masterforce cutting wheels for 59 cents each. One inch cordless vinyl blinds are $5.99. And catch this deal. Battered cod or premium frozen shrimp are just $7.29 each. These hot deals won't last long. Hurry in before time runs out. Sign up for Menards emails to get more hot deals, plus the weekly flyer right to your inbox. Save big money at Menards. Like a bowl of cherries, life in Attic Angel is healthy and sweet. Our independent and assisted living lifestyles include newly renovated apartments, engaging social activities, and wellness support that is tailored to you. As time marches on, we promote the idea that life can always be a bowl of cherries. Attic Angel Community, the house that angels built. 
Get solar and get saving with Olsen Solar Energy in the Madison area. When you're talking to someone and you call someone at Olsen Solar, it's not someone in Utah, it's not someone in California, it is someone local right here. By doing that, you know, we control the entire process. So we control the project management, we control the design, we control the installation, the electric, the hookup, permitting, and, and that really sets us apart. Stop into our location near you or give us a call and ask us about our Earth Day promo. Start your new day with the News 3 Now This Morning team, bringing you local breaking news, exploring all that makes our area special, and letting you know what to expect when you head out the door. News 3 Now This Morning, moving forward. Weekdays. You're watching News 3 Now at 6, moving forward. Well, this week, we are introducing you to the top veteran nominations for the Spirit of Service Award. Our partners in the campaign, Vortex Optics, narrowed the 100 nominations in the Spirit of Service down to five. Meet Daniel O'Kane, or Dano, as everyone calls him. He went into the Marine Corps at age 17, where he was there from 1985 to 1990. When he returned, he worked in his father's restaurant, also working in food service at UW Health. The last five and a half years in the Children's Hospital. And that's when he met Josie, a little girl who inspired him to do more in the community. Josie loved to fish, so Dan built her a custom rod. From there, he founded Josie's Gift, a local nonprofit that creates fishing poles for children in UW Hospital as a way to give them something to look forward to. This July will mark the fifth annual Kids Fishing Day on Lake Winnebago. And yesterday we introduced you to Rhonda Adams. Adams has made a positive impact on thousands of lives. Today you'll find her as executive director of the River Food Pantry, but her service to the community began in 1982. She served more than two decades in the U.S. Army, which included three years of active duty and 18 years in the U.S. Army Reserves. During her tenure in the Army, she received numerous military awards and decorations, service medals, and badges. By the time she retired in December 2003, Rhonda had climbed to the ranks to earn the rank of Master Sergeant, specializing in operations and administration. <clears throat> Right now, you can vote for your favorite nominee at channel3000.com slash contests through Friday, March 8th. One vote per day per email. We'll reveal the rest of the finalists throughout the week. The Department of Veterans Affairs says millions of U.S. veterans are now eligible for VA health care earlier than anticipated. It's covered by the PACT Act, which aims to expand VA benefits for service members exposed to burn pits, Agent Orange, radiation, and other toxic substances. When the PACT Act became law in August 2022, it laid out a plan to phase in eligibility for different groups of veterans until full implementation by 2032. But the VA accelerated that timeline. Now all veterans exposed to toxins and other hazards while serving overseas or at home can apply for benefits. Maybe your doctor out in the civilian sector doesn't know to ask if you were even in the military, let alone exposed to toxins. And being in the uh, being in the care of VA practitioners is really a good thing for all generation of veterans. The PACT Act also expanded VA benefits for surviving family members and dependents of veterans who died of related conditions. Family members can check eligibility for possible payments and pensions at VA.gov slash PACT. When we come back, a family in Kenosha County finds an unusual visitor in the driveway. Plus, the World Championship Cheese Contest kicks off today at Madison. Find out what it takes to make world-class cheese. And we may see some rain by the end of the week. Alex is back with the complete forecast right after this. Here's California banker Eric Hovde running for U.S. Senate. But Hovde's lifestyle? Pure California. CEO of a billion dollar bank, here's Hubdi's over $7 million Laguna Beach mansion. And three years in a row, Eric Hubdi was named one of Orange County's most influential residents. Mm. Multimillionaire California banker Eric Hubdi. On Wisconsin's side, don't bank on it. When Senate is responsible for the content of this ad. Fjords has been crafting beautifully designed functional furniture since 1941. Every aspect of Fjords furniture has been carefully engineered to create a higher level of relaxation. 
visit the Century House today and view our extensive lineup. Experience the unmatched relaxation you can only achieve in Fjord's Furniture. Relaxation made beautiful. Visit the Century House at 3420 University Avenue in Madison or online at centuryhouseinc.com. This month, we're looking for 200 homeowners interested in getting a new fence. We're offering up to $1,000 off, plus an upgrade of up to 10 free solar caps. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. Call now or visit the website for your new fence today. Shop family-owned Brothers Maine for our large selection, low-price deals, and free delivery on top brands like Cafe, Hot Point, and GE Appliances. From sales to install, we do it all. Feel great about your purchases. Feel like family at Brothers Maine. Does your roof look great from the ground, but yet it's still leaking? We see roofs every day that look great, but the important details weren't done correctly. With the average cost of a replacement roof being north of $25,000, that might not be what you need. Let one of our specialists give you a free 16-point inspection and let you know exactly what's really wrong with your roof and show you how we can restore it, saving you thousands. Remember, when you think roofing, think Larson, Wisconsin's best roofing experience. Watch the Bucks on broadcast TV when they battle with the Lakers on your new local home for select Bucks games. Don't miss a second of the action when LeBron and the Lake Show duel with Giannis and the Bucks. It's a clash of the Titans. Bucks, Lakers on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Friday at 9 on WISC TV3. Watching News 3 now at 6, moving forward. Hey, it's time to say cheese as the World Championship Cheese Contest has returned to Madison. News 3 now's Kyle Pazorski is showing us day one of the judging. We're currently in the midst of day one judging here at the Monona Terrace and Convention Center. A cheesemaker I spoke with today tells me that while there's no monetary prize for having the best cheese, it's more about coming together as an industry and getting those bragging rights. I want to wish everybody the best of luck. Western Wisconsin Congressman Derek Van Orden kicking off the contest with an impromptu speech Tuesday morning for the 35th biennial event. Dairy producers and judges from around the world brought in the crown the best cheese for more than 3,300 entries. This has made companies uh from the bottom up, uh, when they when you win a gold medal in this contest, the orders come in. John Umholfer is executive director of the Wisconsin Cheesemakers Association. The organization has hosted the event every other year since 1957. He shares that being a judge can be a challenge, but all worth it to crown a winner. We're eating about 60 cheeses a day each judge, so about 120 cheeses, and then the final round is again a 54 cheese uh, eating. Three-time master cheesemaker Gary Grossen from Judah, Wisconsin, shares some tips for those looking to take home the title. For a cheesemaker to make quality cheese, it has to be started on the farm with the quality milk. Grossen says while there are challenges the industry continues to face, including getting a fair price for their product, That's the contest is all worth their years of hard work. When you come here and you win your awards and, you know, uh, it's, it's a uh, meaning to all your hard work and your dedication. Judging will continue Wednesday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Then come Thursday, the final prize winner will be announced through a live stream at 2 p.m. We'll have a link to that live stream on channel3000.com. Reporting in downtown, Kopzarski, News 3 Now. Kyle, thank you. And while Wisconsin is known as the dairy state, there's some tough competition. The previous winner in 2022 was Michael Spreicher, a cheesemaker from Switzerland. Well, from cheese to bacon, I'll show you what I mean. A family in Kenosha County got quite the surprise when a pig showed up unannounced at their home. Well, meet Kevin Bacon. Yeah, see, get it? He's a 450-pound pig who loves taking walks, meeting new people, and more than anything, eating donuts. Relatable. Friday night, Kevin wandered from his farm to Jake Mulgard's driveway. Mulgard made a few phone calls and found his owner, who was out of town for the weekend. Yeah, uh, that's that's definitely my pig. Is he? He's a big black pig. I said, yeah. He's like, yeah. His name is Kevin Bacon, and uh, he's actually a little lonely, so he's probably just looking for company. With some assistance from the Kenosha Sheriff's Department, the Mulgard family brought Kevin home. A one-mile walk that took an incredible. Two and a half hours, the Mulgards lured Kevin home with Oreo cookies and, well, anything else that they could find in the fridge. Kevin is now back home safe and sound and appeared to be in good spirits. 
Well, Kevin is done hogging the spotlight. Dry <laughs> weather for most of the week, but we could see some rain by the end of it. Here's Alex with the complete forecast. Yeah, thanks, Brady. Let's do a flashback real quick here. Speaking of not dry weather, what about severe weather? Look at this picture sent to us. Alex from Sun Prairie showing us the hail that we had just 24 hours ago. Looking at the radar, this is what we were experiencing last night at 6.15 p.m. Showers and thunderstorms to the west, and then we had the severe weather that raked portions of Rock County and moved off towards the south and towards the east. But then we had periods of showers and thunderstorms, and that's where Alex snapped that shot of that peed uh, nickel sized tail that we saw in Sun Prairie. The rain zipped off towards the east and then looks look what happened here during the day on your Tuesday. All that white went away. That means the sun got right down to the ground. We had a gorgeous day today again. Just the difference 24 hours can make in the state of Wisconsin, right? We got 42 degrees out there right now. It's still 50 degrees in Boscobel. Got to do the reality check here. That means the temperatures are still above normal. Normal highs are right around 40 degrees. So we're still at or just a little bit above that. A little cooler tonight than what we've been experiencing. We'll do 28 in Madison, 27 in Lone Rock, 24, that's the chilly spot, up towards Camp Douglas. Hanging on to 35 in Janesville, a little bit warmer down by the Wisconsin-Illinois border. Clouds make all the difference in the world. They help to hold in the heat a little bit. As we go on into your Wednesday, then those temperatures climbing up into the 50s. We'll do 52 in Madison, near 50 in Lone Rock and Prairie du Chien and upper 40s in Camp Douglas again, 5, 10 degrees degrees north of where we should be for this time of year. Then we turn our attention, as Brady was saying, it's going to turn a little bit on the wet side. We're tracking that as well. Thursday going into Friday, even into your fr Friday night, and then this weather system will end on Saturday. Well, let's track it here. Starting off on your Friday morning at 12, or Friday morning at 12 a.m., look at that, scattered showers and uh, maybe a clap or two of thunder with this weather system as it moves in. So go towards that 6 o'clock time frame. Showers entering the morning commute from Madison and points off towards the south and west. Rain, possible heavy again maybe a clap or two of thunder with this the wet snow threat not very high that would be more towards the north up towards the dells up towards marquette and green lake counties then this weather system is quick to exit with sunny skies returning by the time it gets at this time six o'clock on your Saturday night. Rainfall amounts could be appreciable, half inch, three quarters of an inch, maybe a little bit more out towards the west, and boy, do they need it. We still have drought conditions from last year, still prevalent now in 2024, in that severe to extreme category of portions of southwestern Wisconsin and northeast Iowa, so we could take all the rain that we can get out of this weather system. Bottom line, dry till Friday. That chance of snow is low with this weather system. Then drying out over the weekend, another weather system is going to enter the picture. Once we spring forward and have a nice weekend, look at those mild temperatures getting into the 60s by the time we get out to Tuesday and Wednesday. That's more like April-like temperatures for this time of year with perhaps a few more showers by the time we get out to Thursday of next week. And coming up in sports, Super Sarah. What the Double Double Machine did for the first time in program history in over two decades. Find out next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Don't need glasses. See us for your contacts and save on your annual supply. Before USA insulation, one room was colder than the other. It was harder to keep the temperature at a, at a good level. At that point, we realized that we needed to check into the walls and see what was going on. It's an older house. After USA insulation came in and, and put the foam in, we noticed almost immediately the following month was about a $40 decrease in our bill. The following month after that, it was around $50, $55. So we started seeing results almost immediately after they put the insulation in. USA insulation. Make every night date night at Johnny's Italian Steakhouse. Choose from a generous selection of signature salads and chef-created pastas, such as the seafood pasta pomodoro, or try one of their delicious signature steaks, like the Johnny's Bone-In Ribeye. Johnny's has something to satisfy every appetite. Complete date night with a glass of wine or a Johnny's signature cocktail. Have date night any night.
at Johnny's. Johnny's Italian Steakhouse, Greenway Station, Middleton, and on South Grand Avenue, Sun Prairie. This is where all your dreams come true. You are the Moulin Rouge! Madison's most spectacular night out is Moulin Rouge, the musical. Winner of 10 Tony Awards, including Best Musical. The New York Times calls it dazzling, gasp-inspiring. In Moulin Rouge, life is beautiful. Performances begin July 9th at Overture Center. Tickets at Overture.org. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you quality name brand jeans and work pants because we get you. So stock up now with unbeatable deals on your favorite styles for spring. Like men's Wrangler five-star jeans. Buy one, get one half price. Save $10 on men's key brand bibs or jeans when you buy two. Get a free $20 gift card when you spend $100 on men's or women's Ariat jeans. And men's Rustler jeans, $15.99. Rewards members save an extra buck. We get you what you need because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Your eyewear should be as individual as you. With Shopco Optical's extensive selection of frames and lenses, our optometrists will learn about you and help you customize the right choice for your lifestyle. Visit Shopco Optical and find your new signature style today. It's deja vu all over again for the Badger women's hockey team. For the second straight year, Wisconsin will face Minnesota in the WCHA final face-off semifinals at Ritter Arena, the home of the Gophers. So it's essentially a road game for Mark Johnson's squad in the conference tournament. But after splitting with their border battle rival in Minnesota earlier this year, this group isn't worried about where they're playing this weekend. I think a road game doesn't really affect us much. I think we kind of treat that the same as we would here, um, show up on game day the same way, prepare the same way. So yeah, I think it's all pretty fair. I mean, it obviously ended up being in Minnesota, but I think we're excited. As you dwindle down and then teams start getting eliminated, uh, you know, if you're going to be successful, you're going to be playing against good teams. And so at this point, you got to be playing well. If you don't play well, then things are going to end pretty quick. And the WCHA announced more finalists for the conference's end of year awards, and the Badgers are well represented. Mark Johnson is one of three in the running for Coach of the Year, while Britta Curl is up for the Student Athlete of the Year. And Kirsten Sims and Caroline Harvey are vying for the league's Player of the Year. Winners will be announced on Thursday. It was a banner day for Wisconsin's double-double machine. Sarah Williams was not only named first-team All-Big Ten, but the Wisconsin forward was tabbed the league's Defensive Player of the Year. She's the first Badger since 2001 to earn that honor. Williams is averaging a double-double this season and enters the conference tourney with 15 straight double-doubles. That's the most in program history, and she's tied with Megan Gustafson for the most in Big Ten history. And don't forget to check out this week's Wisconsin Huddle with Tyler Wall. After 28 straight weeks, it's the final episode of the season. Show airs at 6.30 on Friday right here on News 3 Now. The last one of the season. Where did the time go? You know what? I didn't think we'd ever get here. <laughs> Well, now you can enjoy more of this beautiful weather that we have. Yeah, it's still pretty gorgeous out there tonight. Temperatures dipping down into the upper 30s by the time we get to 10 o'clock. We could use a little bit more rain. We had rain southeast of Madison yesterday, but more rain is on the way Thursday going into Friday, maybe a half inch to three quarters of an inch. Hey, thanks everyone for spending this time with us. We'll see you back here at 10.